It certainly was unnerving for so many New Yorkers who take the subway and video was caught of what happened and it's making the rounds on social media certainly unsettling to say the least. Now what's interesting about that video though we just wrapped up a press conference with the NYPD transit chief as well as the MTA chief and they told us all the video that's making its way around the web is really helping them to put together new clues in this case. Now police initially said this started when it Police initially said this started when a 36 year old man who picked a fight with a 32 year old man as he got on the train. They said that 32 year old man grabbed a gun from the 36 year old and shot him in the head. We just learned within the last hour that that 32 year old had a woman with him who had a sharp object and stabbed that 36 year old. Though we're not sure at what point during the fight that this happened. Now with so many violent incidents on the subway recently, MTA Chief Jano Lieber praised the mayor and the governor for putting an emphasis on subway safety. When asked why New Yorkers should feel safe taking the train with everything that's been going on recently, both Lieber and NYPD, NYPD Transit Chief Michael Kemper kept the focus on the officers who responded to yesterday's call. I know it's cliche to say that, you know, while people are running away from danger, the cops are running toward the danger. Well, that's exactly what happened yesterday. That's exactly what happened yesterday. And don't think for one second they wanted to run toward the danger. Shots are fired. They heard the shots fired. They heard the screaming. They heard the yelling. They didn't know what was going on. Yet multiple cops, without even thinking of anything other than helping people, ran toward that platform to help people. That's incredible. Now, a big question still remaining is whether that 32 year old will face charges for pulling the trigger. Right now, the NYPD transit chief telling us that will be up to the DA's office to figure out if there were charges that will that will be coming down as of right now. He's not facing any charges. That 36 year old is currently in critical condition after this shooting. So still a lot of questions to be answered here and a timeline to be pieced together. But uh, really unnerving how this all unfolded yesterday at the height of rush hour around 445 in the afternoon.